Longmire has left us with a Walt Longmire-shaped hole in our hearts ever since the last season was released in November 2017. So today, we will check out some shows you can watch if you have loved Longmire and need something else to fill your time. There are cop shows, westerns, and just plain awesome shows that fans of Longmire seem to love. Stick with us while we show your next favorite show. Let's start with a show that many fans of Longmire already love too. Yellowstone is a show that is set in the present time, but is still very much a western. John Dutton, played by Kevin Costner, is a cowboy with his own working ranch that lives and works with his family. The show is all about family. It is a western that is full of emotions, intrigue, and a bucket load of suspense too. Much of the stories are focused on his children and their dramas. It is a great show with a wonderful cast and if you loved Longmire, then it is almost surely a show that you will enjoy. If you haven't watched it yet, then what are you waiting for? Season 4 of Yellowstone just dropped on Paramount, and the creators have loads of plans for Season 5. Plus, when you are done with the main show, there's also a new spin-off and another one that is coming up. So there is loads of content to keep you busy once you get hooked on this series. Another favorite among Longmire fans, Justified is also about the law and sometimes about the gray areas surrounding it. Justified was also inspired by writings, just like Longmire was. In this case, the writings of Elmore Leonard, who wrote Raylan after the success of Justified. Raylan Givens is a deputy U.S. Marshal who is sent back to his hometown in Kentucky and who then faces a lot of people and secrets from his past. He has to face his old friend turned nemesis. Boyd Crowder, and the two of them have a strange relationship. Raylan is a really good man, just like Walt, but someone who has a dark past and needs to work past it. One way he does this is by making sure that justice is done for those that need it. It's a great show that can get pretty dark, with a lot of drama and violence, but it has incredible actors and some really awesome characters. The show ran for six seasons, and it has some really great reviews. And since it is a completed series, you get to watch the entire thing as quickly as you want to. Up next, Godless. If you're in the mood for a classic western, then this could be the one for you. It's also just made up of one season since it is a miniseries, meaning that you only need to watch seven episodes to enjoy the entire thing. This show is set in 1884, and it has a lot of incredibly strong female characters in it, which is really Really refreshing for a western. It follows Frank Griffin and his band of outlaws, who are trying to get after Roy Good and get revenge on him for betrayal of their gang. Good then goes on the run and goes into an isolated little town that is almost completely filled up with strong women. These women are not willing to allow this gang to come into their town and take over, and they decide to band together and fight them off. It is a wonderful show that received a bunch of Emmy nominations for the cast and crew. And if all of that hasn't convinced you, then you should also know that this series was on plenty of best of the year lists when it came out, and it was really critically acclaimed. Now we have Bosch. This is another show that isn't set in a Western setting, but the feeling of the show does feel a lot like a Western. In that way, it is a lot like Longmire, too. It has the same general feel and vibe in the show. It also is based based on a series of novels by Michael Conley. It follows detective Harry Bosch as he solves cases each week. It is a police procedural, and most of the cases get solved in one episode. But throughout each season, and throughout the entire series, the show also has story arcs that follow the series. If you do just watch one episode on its own, you can and you would get it. But it is much better to watch it as an entire series. Fans of Longmire will enjoy the way that both shows have a similar way of connecting all of the individual episodes 
episodes, but still weaving a great big picture story throughout the series. Next on the list is Hap and Leonard. Walt Longmire might have been a really serious character, but some of the moments in the show are really funny. They have a lot of dry humor and sarcasm that makes the show and the character unique. And Hap and Leonard is one of the few series on this list that is actually really funny too. They really embrace their humor. The characters on this show are on the wrong side of the law. Unlike Walt, it is a great blend of comedy, grit, and lawlessness, and a show that just becomes really absurd at times. But somehow, it is an absurdity that has a lot of charm. It gives fans of Longmire the same grit and attitude, but it also adds some humor, and that is one thing that is kind of lacking on this list. They have a lot of action and adventure, but many of these shows are dark and don't have a lot of humor. Bringing Hap and Leonard into the watch list will mix things up a little bit. How many of you loved Longmire? Have you seen any of the shows that we've spoken about so far? Which of them would you recommend? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. We would love to hear from you. Next up, we'll add some more great shows to the list. Stick with us and let's check it out. Now we have The Sun. This is another show with an incredible cast. The main character is portrayed by Pierce Brosnan. They do travel back and forth in the timeline a little bit, but for the most part, the show is set in 1970. Brosnan plays the part of Texas legend Eli McCullough. In the show, he does pretty much anything he can to get into power. It doesn't matter if that means murdering people, threatening people, and deceiving everyone. But power is the main thing, and taking his place as a wealthy oil tycoon is really the most important thing for him. The series sadly only ran for two seasons, but it's still worth watching, with some incredible performances by some really talented actors. Next, Broadchurch. I know this series is not a Western at all. In fact, it is actually a British series. But it is a series that shows the drama and turmoil that a small town can have. It is set in the fictional English village of Broadchurch. It is a thrilling series that has just as many wonderful mysteries that need to be solved. The two main characters in the series, detectives Alec Hardy and Ellie Miller, are completely different and have major different personalities and detective skills. The entire first season follows one investigation into the mysterious death of a young boy. Because it is such a small town, the show also includes characters from all around the town. Plus, the setting is just really stunning. The setting is almost like a character of its own. The stunning white cliffs, gray skies, and the stormy seas all give you a wonderful backdrop for the series and makes the mood of the show as gloomy as the mysteries that they are trying to solve. Lastly, Deadwood. Another wonderful western. This one actually has some characters in it that really lived. Seth Bullock, who was played by Timothy Oliphant, was a former sheriff who at the start of the series owns a hardware store. The saloon owner, called Al Swearingen, is played by Ian McShane, and these were both real people. The show is set in the 1870s, and western heroes like Calamity Jane and Wild Bill Hickok also make appearances in the series. It is set during the time when towns are becoming more official, and the west is going from being the Wild West into an area with rules and regulations. The town of Deadwood is trying to go from a rundown location into a flourishing location. That means that they need to clear the town of any bad people residing in it. It was really well known for the incredible writing that the show has and acting that is from an extremely high standard. The show ran for three seasons in the 2000s before it was finally adapted into a film in 2019. It might have the same type of setting as Long had, but it definitely has a lot more profanity. It became well known for it. It was actually wild how much they managed to fit in. In the three seasons, they managed to fit 2,980 F-bombs in the series. That is wild. It is one every 1.56 seconds. It has the same feel, but be prepared for a lot more swearing. Did I miss any great shows to watch after Longmire? Let me know. Thanks for watching.